Hey guys, welcome to Sunny Bermuda. Let's go see what the yard looks like today. I did get a, a light turf rake in yesterday and I went, went over it with just a rotary mower and just cleaned it up. It's not really quite ready for a real mow, but it is April the 2nd and I get asked a question, what are you going to do to wake up your Bermuda lawn? Well, I'm going to wait for the temperatures to, to warm up first <laughs> of all, but um, there are also some things you can put down to if you really want to get some green, shot, green going like the green dog spots you know fill in the rest of the grass with some green to match the dog spots i've got a few products over here in the garage i'm going to show you guys so let's go ahead to the garage and we'll show you some of those i'm going to show liquids and some granular fertilizer you know depending on your preference some people prefer one over the other so i'm going to show you a little bit of both see what i got in stock <laughs> All right, here we are in the garage. I got several little options here. This is my liquid, some stuff I had on stock in the liquid department up there on my on the top of my shelf. You can see some up there. But typically what you want to do is, if you haven't had a soil test and you're unsure, you know, go with a, a balanced fertilizer. Like I got here some Triple Eight. This is made by Impro. You pick this up at your local urine irrigation. It's almost gone. And of course, if you don't, if you've had a soil test and you really don't need that much phosphorus, see it's got eight, eight percent phosphorus. You know, I would go probably with something maybe a 1604. The zero represents zero phosphorus. And again, this is Impro as well. Or if you just want to jump into a full force, go with the 1648, your complete uh, fertilizer. This is probably what I'll use this year in the backyard. It's running low. I got probably enough for one more treatment. And we'll continue this throughout the year, thanks to Simple Lawn Solutions. Awesome, guys. Also, if you, if you really want to throw the kitchen sink at it, I guess you could try some. That'll definitely wake it up. Some 4600, some ammonia nitrate, or some urea. Some good stuff. That's, that's liquid as well. I mean, it's granular in the bag, but you mix it up. Put it in your sprayer. Like I would put it in my little chaffin sprayer there and spray it down. So that's all. That's pretty much all I have as far as liquids. Some other, some of the other stuff is just some soil treatments. That's pretty much it. So let's move to the granular. I do have. Yeah, I got a bag of 10, 10, 10 left that I had from this last year. In fact, it busted on me and spilt a little bit, but it'll still work just fine. And again, this is a balanced PGF balanced. It means this your numbers all straight across your nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium all ten. And if, like, I, like just like liquid, if you are high in phosphorus, then jump over with a zero, a zero in the middle, sixteen zero eight. In fact, if you hadn't seen my little cartoons, I explained the different nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassiums. A little cartoon character. It was kind of fun put together. I think I got about ten episodes, or we'll have ten episodes up. I'll leave a link up here if you hadn't seen those yet. That's pretty. That's pretty fun. It was fun making them. So I hope you guys enjoy those. But yeah, this is great. I'll probably use it most of the summer from the Andersons. And then also, if you want to go a little beefier, there is some 1804. It's a Green Tracks from, you can pick that up at your local U Ewings too. And I plan to use that. I'll probably use that around in my ditch. Try and really work on my ditch. Get it weed free and look, make it really look good compared to the front yard. But those are our products. In fact, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with Anderson's on the front yard. So I'm going to throw down some 10, 10, 10 because I had a soil test and it was really low on phosphorus, which is really perfect. So, so I don't mind putting down the 10 right here in the phosphorus. And of course the 10 nitrogen and potassium, that would be just perfect to kick off the season with. I'm going to do that on the front yard. And then in the backyard, I'm going to use a granular, I mean not granular, but a liquid granule on the front backyard is liquid and i'm going to use this ignite uh, product by impro and then i'll follow up a little later on with some 1648 and again this is the second day of april yesterday is april fools in fact we got a little surprise last night some kid ran up and rang our doorbell and ran off <laughs> of course we caught him on video but yeah it was a little fun so guys we're gonna mix all this up and we'll throw it down
Hey guys, as a quick recap, I, if you, I don't know if you noticed on the backyard, it started sprinkling on me a little bit, so I moved the camera up on the back porch. And the rest of this week, probably I think the next nine days out of the 10 forecast is gonna 50% rain and no lower than 60 degrees. So that is really good because you want it to stay 60 and higher, especially at night for this Bermuda to start waking up. And let's go real quick what I put down. I put down on the front yard, I'm using the Andersons on the front yard this year. I put down a 10 10 10 fertilizer and also the month my monthly application of humic dg and also finished off i put a little more biochar in it to finish off the coverage because there's just a little bit left in that and then in the backyard i'm going all liquid i'm going to be using simple grow solutions or simple lawn solutions actually but i went ahead and tried to finish off this 888 go ahead and get this done and get it off my shelf that way the rest of the summer i'm going to go with simple lawn solutions and I did my monthly, you know, application of humic as well. And I use these sprayers. You could use a push sprayer or a backpack sprayer, but I love the hose end for this kind of application. Cause I cover half with this one, half with this one, and it worked out perfectly. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you in future videos as this lawn starts to green up and I break out the big outlet reel mower and start reel mowing it. And let's get a beautiful, let's say soccer course long yeah soccer a soccer field long there you go <laughs> anyway give me a like hit that thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe if you're not a subscriber and guys hope you have a great day and we'll see you in the next one